Hey, it's Denise from Off Leash Canine Training, Lehigh Valley and Scranton, here with Al Wyatt. He is what they're calling a shepherd mix. He's here for our two week board and train. Um, he's got some impulse control issues and a lot of energy. We're going to see what he does today. Wyatt, Wyatt, come. Yeah, guys. Good. Sit. Sit. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yes. Wyatt, sit. Wyatt, come. Good. Sit. Good. Down. Down. Quiet, sit, 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 down, down. Okay, how about place? Uh -uh, come, place, place. Okay. Let's see how about heel, quiet, heel, 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 quiet. Heel. 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 Yes. Good. Good. Okay, so it looks like Wyatt's got some work to do on his basic obedience. Um, definitely on his heel. I think he takes his, uh, his parents for drags instead of for walks. Um, so we're going to get them all fixed up and check back here with us in two weeks.
Um, my name is Gina Blasha. This is our dog Wyatt. I'm Matt. This is my boyfriend Matt. Um, we're picking up Wyatt after his two weeks of training and really excited to have him home and continue to learn and for him to learn. Um, when we first got Wyatt, he um, was really difficult. <laughs> I don't know what else what other word to use to describe him, but really difficult, could be aggressive at times, sometimes scared me, scared other people. Um, and I know we were kind of at a loss with like what to do with him, because we love him so much, and he's so loving, but he was really difficult. Um, a lot of energy. Really energetic. I couldn't, I didn't feel comfortable taking him anywhere. Um, I was too scared of what he might do. Um, he pulled me down a few times. He's really, he was really difficult to walk. So we invested in this, and with the help of Diane and off these training, Denise. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That's sunk. fine. That's fine. And um, so with the help of you guys, he's a totally different dog. Awesome. Yeah, the fact that we have him in Lowe's right now and he's not all over the place, he's not barking, and we've been able to walk him through people, and he's seen. You know, people in wheelchairs, he's walked by him, he hasn't barked, he's been nothing but calm. A little nervous, but I mean, we're really satisfied with, with his training. We really enjoyed the, um, the updates that we got from Denise um, on a nightly basis. Uh, so it let us know that Wyatt was doing okay and it allowed us to see, you know, his progress throughout the, the two weeks and, you know, it let us know that he was in good hands and it really made us feel more comfortable about, you know, him being away. Um, and when I dropped him off with Denise, I mean, there was no question that she really enjoyed what she did. And um, I was nervous at first, but then when, when I dropped, when I met Denise, and there was no question in my mind that she would be okay dealing with Wyatt and you know, that we trusted her with him for, for that amount of time. So we're extremely happy with the, with the finished product here. And I think Wyatt's gonna be happier too. So um, it's gonna be better for him and we're gonna be able to take him everywhere. So we're really excited. Awesome. And would you recommend Off-Leash Canine Training Lehigh Valley to your friends and family? Definitely. Absolutely, 100%. Um, it's one of the greatest investments I've ever made. I can, I can tell already. Um, and you know, it's, it's good for him too. I mean, you know, more importantly, I mean, he's gonna be able to have a better life. He's gonna make life easier for us too. And, and you know, I think it's, it's, it's definitely worth it. As soon as somebody tells me they have problems with their dog, I'll certainly recommend them to